All right, so we're about to check on Avicii. And don't worry for everybody, this is just a quarantine tub. He will get a better enclosure as he gets bigger. But right now, this is strictly quarantine so I can monitor his health. Make sure there's no mites, no weird vomits, no regurgitation, things like that. Um, so, yeah, I just want to put that disclaimer out there because some of y'all are really going hard on anybody who owns reptiles, especially black people, um, and try to critique their level of care. Like, I've been keeping reptiles for almost 10 years now. I don't need your help when it comes to hus husbandry. So, that being said. We're about to work on Avicii's temperament. He was great for the first couple of days, but then he started to get defensive, which is fine because I know that's how babies are, baby snakes in general, but specifically blood pythons. So I'm not worried about getting bit because I got my gloves, I got the long sleeves, and at this age, they're not gonna do much damage. So, but I like to handle and work on them it's been about a week since he ate, so he should be okay and well digested, even though blood pythons um, don't poop as regularly as other snakes. Um, so we're just going to work on, you know, positive handling and showing him, hey, even if you strike at me, I'm still going to pick you up. So, and it won't be long. You know, some people suggest five to ten minutes every day. Um, but I just get, I just gave him extra days because he had his first meal with me, which was great, um, last week. And I just didn't want to rush and risk him regurgitating. So I believe he's in this big hide. If not, he's probably in the little hide in the cool spot. Oh, another thing. Blood pythons don't like to be hot. What you keep your ball pythons in or your boas, blood pythons will not like that. So, yeah, I just want to put that out there. So his temperature is different from the rest but let's see where's my baby he's probably under these newspapers nope he's on the cool side <laughs> he tricked me oh sorry so and I just woke him up so he's a little intense he's breathing heavy as you can see I just woke him up so he's not so happy, but we're going to watch how he acts and how I act towards him when it comes to, but what I do every time with every snake, I'm consistent. I rub them gently with a snake hook. They may not like it at first, especially the new babies, but it's just to get them used to it and to let them know that it's not feeding time. And as we can see, he got the long tongue flicks. Let me move the camera this way so y'all can see him better. So a lot of uh, snake breeders and owners, of, especially of blood pythons and boas, suggest that you, and I'm just taking it, um, advice from multiple different people who own bloods, is to take uh, approach them from behind. I've already messed up rule number one by approaching it from above, but, you know, this is the only spot I have him in. So... We're going to approach him from behind and not up front. And you just got to get with it. You can't be scared of getting bit. And even if you get bit, it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. You're not going to die. He's not venomous. Um, so, oh, just moving my light along so y'all can see him very well. So... Again, I'm just gently rubbing his body, touching his body, getting him used to it. And he may strike. Blood pythons got pretty fast strikes that you just don't see coming. But I am going to not let that um, scare me. So, and what I'm going to try is to get him by the neck with the hook. Not, not pull. You don't want to pull. That's uncomfortable for them. But to just at least block any strike he might try as I reach under and behind because sometimes you got to trick the babies <laughs> you got to trick them you know keep them keep them uh what you call distracted as you're reaching in and he might still strike but it's okay see see 
he's gonna strike but it's okay I'm gonna pick him up anyway not gonna let that deter me and I might let this hook help me out and again he might strike my, my hand my glove but it's all right it's not the end of the world he will be okay but you got to support the bodies support their bodies yeah, let me make sure y'all can see in the camera uh, hold on I got to readjust y'all <laughs> got to readjust because I only you doing this with one hand okay so as y'all can see he's a little firecracker but I have him with one hand and he got to support the body okay now he's going to his water And one thing about him is that he is very, very active. Even when he was chill on the first day, he was very, very active. So he's going to move a lot, but it's all good. And he might strike at the camera. He sees himself and he sees me <laughs> and it's probably like freaking him out and these lights are not helping. But one hand, it's a little difficult, but as y'all can see, He's thinking, and he's not as defensive anymore. His body language, like he stopped stiffening up. He's more relaxed now. Oh, there go that long tongue flicks. He sees himself in the camera, and he probably sees the light. So he's, uh, he's thinking, but he's alert. But like I said, he's not as... Uh, defensive anymore as he was and he might just be cage defensive some snakes are like that some snakes can be cage defensive then once you get them out they're fine we're just gonna have to work with him and get to know him for him as he is and one thing about bloods is that they're very hardy girthy thicker snakes they're short tails and so you have to support them a lot more you can't just be all flimsy with them Woo! sorry I scared him that was my fault I scared him when I swung my arms like that that was my fault um you can't talk with your hands with these snakes um but you have to support their bodies and keep them safe and make them feel more secure i'm so sorry avici so that was not a positive experience for him or for me because it scared him so i have to remind myself that i cannot i cannot talk with my hands and swing my hands around with this particular one because he does not like that he does not like quick hand movements again that was a simple mistake but it was my mistake i did not mean to do that avici i'm so sorry but look he's a baby and we have plenty of time to get to know each other and to learn each other and to trust each other um and like i said this is my first blood I'm new to this, but I do have a lot of mentors and people who breed these and care for these and raise these up. And so I'm just going to follow their directives and their um, advice. I humbly ask for any advice for people out there um, in the on YouTube in the comments. Please, please, if you have any advice, I'm I don't have an ego. I don't have an ego. If I fucked up. Like I just did with my hand movements and put my hand down, then swinging my arm around while I'm talking. Then please let me know that. Let me know that I fucked up and what I could do better to make a better experience with him. Um, but I love this guy. He is beautiful. He is sweet, even when he's scared. Um, like even with him being defensive, he's way better than Hades. Because y'all know my Hades Chronicles. <laughs> And so I'm just going to take like two or three photos and then I'm putting him back because I don't want this to be a negative experience for him and I don't want him to strike again. So um, that is it. Just a quick handling session with Avicii, one of many. Um, and we're going to get to know each other and hopefully I can earn his trust because uh, I show fucked up that first time. <laughs> but I love seeing his eyes and how he's thinking how his eyes are moving and it's just it's just he's just a beautiful beautiful animal but we're gonna work on it and again i'm sorry avici i scared you but that's it for snake prince vlogs i am prince elias this is ha not hades this is avici 
not Hades. And we are out. Peace. I'm not going to move my hand or swing my hand and do the hand movements like I always do because uh, he might flip out. <laughs> but y'all see. Peace. <laughs> So we just had a positive ending and I'm allowing him to go in his hide. Well, he went above the hide. I tried to put him in the hide, <laughs> but we had a positive ending, um, semi-positive beginning, but in the middle, that's when I messed up, when I swung my arms and scared him. But once he calmed down and was chill again, and again, I'm thinking, cause you know, Hades, Hades is defensive all year round, 24-7, but at least with Avicii, he somewhat calms down once he's out of his enclosure. So he could just be cage defensive, which is fine. Um, and once I do my upgrades with my big boas and I move some things around in here, I will lift his enclosure higher up to where we see eye level instead of, um, you know, me standing above them because that's the biggest issue with a lot of these baby snakes is that when you stand above them that puts them on high alert so we're working on it we're getting better one day at a time one session at a time but that's it i'm prince elias peace <laughs>